I'm first alert meteorologist Don Maher. Upper level low moving through the region is going to keep us mainly cloudy, perhaps some breaks of sun early, but otherwise the clouds do win on out today and there will be the chance for some spotty showers around as well. Not going to be raining all the time, but showers possible at any point as we make our way through the day today. Then as we head on into tonight, once the sun goes down, we'll see any showers begin to dissipate, but we are going to hang on to a fair amount of clouds overnight tonight. Overnight lows tonight, upper 30s and lower 40s. And then tomorrow, that system a bit further off to the east. So I think we are looking at a mainly drier day tomorrow. Still may be a spot shower around, but for the most part, I think tomorrow is a dry day. A couple of nice days coming our way for both Wednesday and Thursday as temperatures warm into the mid 60s, but then watching our next chance for rain heading into the weekend. That's checking your forecast. Amanda has a look at your headlines. Don, thank you. Good morning, I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Four people taken to the hospital after a police cruiser crashed into a car in Pittsfield yesterday. Two Pittsfield police officers were responding to a call around 4.30 p.m. when they hit a Jeep being driven by a 57-year-old woman and her two grandchildren while going through the Coatesville intersection on Merrill Road. Their grandmother and her grandchildren were taken to the hospital along with the officer driving the cruiser. All are expected to be okay. The crash is now under investigation by the Pittsfield Police Traffic Unit. Five people were taken to the hospital after a haunted hayride crashed over the weekend. Around 8 o'clock Friday night, the Athol Police and Fire Departments were called to the haunted hayrides at Silver Lake for reports of a tractor losing control. The riders staying in the hospital are expected to be okay. This is now under investigation. Crews responding to a house fire in Munson over the weekend. Firefighters called to the scene just after noontime Saturday for a chimney fire on Stafford Hollow Road. Crews found heavy smoke coming out of the windows and chimney of the house when they arrived. Mutual aid called in from Wales and Stafford Fire Departments. The house sustained minor damage as crews were able to contain the fire to the attic.